Today, I'm going to show you two amazing but simple prompt generators. You'll be amazed at what these prompts can do. Where these prompt generators, though, they don't generate simple prompts. And what they'll actually do is create a prompt for anything that you could possibly need. Simply copy and paste these prompts in the chat GPT or any LLM for that matter, and then tell it your need, then watch the magic happen. So let's get right to it. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna head over to my new prompt generators database. Now this database is a database that contains nothing but prompt generators for any category imaginable. And then over here on the left-hand side, you can see the breakdown as I click on each one, the list goes on and on for every single category imaginable. And so the first one we're gonna take a look at is this one right here, a meta prompt engineer for anything possible. For the most amazing prompts databases with lifetime access and nonstop updates, click the links in the description. And so with these prompts, all you have to do is copy them and then paste them in the chat GPT or any LLM. And just a quick reminder, any prompts I'm sharing today or in any of my YouTube videos are always available 100% free via the links in the description. So again, in this database, go ahead and open this one up right here and simply copy it. And speaking of AI influence, Influencers, this brand new AI influencer database just came out. And so with this first prompt copied, let's go ahead and then try out DeepSeek, okay? This is all the rage right now. So let's see how good of a job this one can actually do. However, when we test out the second prompt generator, with that one, we'll go ahead and try ChatGPT. Okay, now with our prompt copied, let's go ahead and now simply paste it into DeepSeek. And now one thing to mention, if you're using prompts like this and you wanna get just a quick response, I would recommend turning DeepThink off for this because it's gonna take a little bit longer and you don't really need it right now for this prompt generator. So let's go ahead and generate these prompts right here. And you can see it just basically says your language model task with becoming a prompt engineer. Instantly DeepSeek or any LLM is just gonna ask you a few questions to get the exact sort of prompt that you need. And so right away, it's taking this information, text to image models or creative writing. It's basically taking this as these are the types of prompts that I want. And so in DeepSeek, it's breaking all down. It's giving you the examples of effective prompts. Okay. So very good right here and plenty of examples. And then when it comes to creative writing, it's also giving you some brief examples as well. But check this out. This is one of my favorite portions, generating prompts for further prompt creation. It's basically giving you the step-by-steps -step and an example of more prompt engineering generators for any sort of prompt creation that you may need. Here we have it right here. Create a series of prompts for text to image. Okay. And then we have this one right here. Generate a list of creative writing prompts that focus on character development. So based off of the examples DeepSeek gave you, what if you came in here down here at the bottom and you just said something completely different? Now watch this. Now I'm going to say create prompts for AI uh, video. Okay, let's just see what this can do. Create prompts for AI video and hopefully it's going to take the same exact steps it gave me up here and do something similar. And then here we go down here, key elements for AI video prompts. So I love how it's going to tell you what is going to be the most important aspect. It's going to say, you know, scene description, action, movement, character, mood, atmosphere, and then the temporal elements with some strategies and then the amazing examples. Okay. So that is a good example right there. And we'll get more examples right down here. So in this first example, we use deep so we had a good opportunity to see how it reacted to our prompt. Now, let's go ahead and take the same exact prompt and see if ChatGPT handles it the same exact way. And then from there, we're going to go ahead and then visit the second prompt, which is, in my opinion, much better. All right, so I have this prompt up here copied, and we're going to put this into ChatGPT now, okay? Now, there is my prompt in ChatGPT. Let's see if it handles this the same way. Okay, now this is awesome. Here is the first portion of it, but look at this. What I love about this right away is that from this prompt alone, ChatGPT gave me its own meta prompt right away. And you can see that's exactly what it did. So here are the first steps. A successful prompt must be clear, creative, and specific. Now let's generate a meta prompt, a prompt that instructs an AI to create other prompts effectively, aka a prompt engineer or a prompt generator. Look at this right here. Meta prompt example. You are an expert AI prompt engineer specializing in crafting high high quality prompts. Amazing. Okay. I'm going to copy this one as well. And I'm going to come back over here into my prompt generators database. And I'm going to add this prompt just in case, because I want to be able to test it and improve it. If I have to, I'm adding it into my prompt generators database. It's going to be a prompt for anything. 
act as anything, and then I'm gonna also tag it as a prompt engineer. That way, I'll know right away exactly what it's for. So there was the first step in ChatGPT. So when it comes to this one, we're gonna give points to ChatGPT over DeepSeek. Now look at this right away. Now let's refine this for different applications. And this is what I love so much about this prompt. It already knows I love using Midjourney and Leonardo AI, and then right away, we're gonna get a meta prompt for text to image, okay? Down here, we also get a meta prompt for creative writing. So right away, we're gonna get a meta prompt for creative writing, AI images, and then just an all around amazing anything meta prompt. Now again, down here at the bottom, it asks that most important question, would you like me to refine these further based on a specific use case or goal? And now this is where the magic happens, where you can basically just turn ChatGPT into an infinite prompt generator. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. We'll do the same thing, and I'll say the same thing as last time. Prompts for AI video, okay? Let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT says with this. And then right away, since AI video generation tools like Runway, Kling, and Pika Labs require structured, cinematic, and highly descriptive prompts, I'll craft meta prompts that guide an AI in generating the best possible video prompts. Amazing. Meta prompt for generating AI video prompts general beautiful so we're getting more prompt generators now look how impressive this is meta prompt for first person view beautiful fpv prompts that is going to be so helpful because this actual prompt is allowing chat gpt to know the specifics and the importance of what certain keywords are needed for these ai video prompts look at this right here this one even gives me the specific very good camera the ari alexa mini lf and then the 35 millimeter lens even handheld versus stabilized shot with the amazing example look at this example okay meta prompt for action-packed pov sequences meta prompt for atmospheric and dreamlike ai video generation wow impressed so by comparison deep seek did good but in this one, I'm going to go ahead and give it to chat GPT. Very impressive with this first prompt. Okay, now moving on. That was the first prompt. Now, let me show you this second prompt. And this one is also going to blow your mind. So here it is right here. Again, it's going to be very short as well, which is good because sometimes less is more. Now let's come back into chat GPT and let's start a brand new chat by pasting this prompt in. Okay, here we go. What specific purpose do you want the AI model to generate prompts for? It could be for AI images, AI technology text to video, storytelling, marketing, brainstorming, or anything else that you have in mind. Impressive. Now, notice the difference between the two. So right away with this one right here, it just instantly asks what I need. Whereas the one we just did before just takes the initiative, becomes assertive, and then just goes right at it, giving me the important details, and then right away giving me that meta prompt. So both have their very good strengths. So for this one, let's just say storytelling, okay, storytelling, and uh, what I'll say is for a dystopian blockbuster movie. Now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter right here, but we're not going to be done with this because I want to take this to an even higher level. So after I do get the information I want, I'm then going to see if it can create prompts for specific images relevant to the actual text, okay? So here's the meta prompt first that will instruct the AI model, okay? Here are all the instructions. You are an expert story prompt generator. And so what we're gonna do is remember, this is the actual prompt generator, okay? Here is the example output. What we're gonna do is actually copy the prompt generator. Remember, a prompt generator cannot be used in a tool yet. It first needs to be pasted into an LLM. Now, let's open up a new chat again and paste it in and then just test out this prompt generator that we just got for storytelling specifically for a dystopian movie. And here we are. Here are five cinematic dystopian blockbuster story prompts designed for visually stunning and rich narratives. Look at this, the last echo. So we get this first one and it's gonna give us all five. Now, let's let it go ahead and complete all five of these very quickly. And then that way we can choose what we want, okay? So once we first decide which one that we want, we're gonna have the last echo in the near future world. That looks pretty cool. We're gonna have Eden Fall, a crumbling vertical megacity built above a sun-scorched wasteland. That's pretty creative. A ghost circuit, 
a post-war metropolis, and then the Sunless, a world plunged into eternal night, and then we have Iron Eden. Okay, very nice. These are interesting. Let's say, for an example, we like number one, The Last Echo, okay? So what I said is, let's choose number one, The Last Echo. Can you please give me some prompts to use to generate AI images? all relevant to the last Echo story. Let's go ahead and hit enter. Let's see if it could understand this. Absolutely, here are a series of ultra detailed AI image prompts based on the last Echo. And then there you have it right here, the silent city under AI rule. Now we're gonna have amazing prompts. And if you take a look at these, these are all gonna be 100% relevant to the story that we just got. Now, before we wrap this up, let's go back over here into my prompt creations again. And what I want to do just very quickly is I would like to go back to the very first one. And I'm taking a look at some of these AI video prompts. What I want to do is get this meta prompt for action packed POV sequences. Okay. So remember we have right here, the prompt generator, a prompt that generates prompts. And then right below it, we're going to have the example output. So for an example, I'm going to take this example output right here, okay, and copy this. Then I'm going to head over to Kling AI, and I want to test this actually out. And let's do a 10 second video and see what this actually can produce for us. Now, while Kling is thinking and generating our video, oh wow, never mind. Right now it says longer than three hours. Okay, we will not be using Kling in here. We are going to go to free pick instead because free pick has Kling AI 1.6 in it as well. So much quicker this way. And for this one, there is Kling 1.6 Pro. We're going to make this one 10 seconds and then generate it here in free pick. Perfect. Now we're going to come back. But first, I want to show you how to use this. Now remember, the first one was the prompt engineer. We're going to copy this one, open up a new chat, and actually paste in this prompt engineering generator here. And from the prompt generator, we're going to get even more prompts. So that's the difference between the two. Remember, it's going to give us the prompt generator, which gives us more prompts. And then the example output is just a single prompt, one prompt. And that's the one I just put in the cling. So the prompt generator is going to work and creating more and more prompts for me. This is the number one way that you can get basically non-stop prompts. And now before we wrap this up, let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of videos I just generated in free pick via Kling from these prompt generators. As you can see, these all did a highly impressive and good job. So test these prompts out. Remember, links are in the description and I would love to hear what some of your creations were. And if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.